Okay. Today is Thursday. I don't know what day it is. January, I want to say 26th, maybe. Yeah. Um, last week I was 218.2. This week I am 218. Wait, what? Last week I was 218.2. This week I was 215.1. So it was a three point one pound pound loss. A total loss of 90.5. Woof! 90 pounds. Feels good. Um, I this whole month I've been like Cindy. When the hell are you gonna get to 215? Because um, me and Vanderina, Mimi, we were talking about it before the new year we wanted to get to 215 by the new year and I just stalled the whole month and I was so upset. Uh, before New Year's I was 218, last week I was still 218 and 218 was, was with me for a long time uh, and you know I was doing everything right and I was feeling so frustrated and finally got through it and I feel it feels good um, I saw I, I write down my weight on my calendar at work I have like that big old calendar on that sits on the desk and um, I was writing my my, um, my weight every day and it felt nice to look at the weight go down every day even it made me appreciate losing like 0.2 pounds or something like that. It, it a little thing, a little a little bit of weight makes a big difference. Um, and before I used to be like, <sighs> I lost just a pound. Ill. What what is that? I, I need to do better than that. But you know, I gotta appreciate the little losses as well. Um, Right now I'm heading to True Results Houston. I live in Houston. Um, my surgeon was Dr. Hollis. Um, and um, I'm getting a fill. And, which is weird because the past, uh, I would say about three weeks, I've been starving. Like I've been famished. But the last two days, my band has decided to be tight. And so, you know, it's not tight to the point where I'm going to PB. It's not tight to the point where I'm stuck for a long time. It's only stuck, stuck for like a minute, and then it's it's over. And um, then, you know, it just kind of reminds me, hey, Cindy, you got to slow down. You got to do it. I have my thing because I've never, I don't know if you heard that. GPS. Um, I'm going to True Results from work and I've never gone from that route. Anyway, um, yeah, chewing thoroughly. Um, water is good, food is good. I posted on Facebook the other day that, um, that, um, what's it called? I ate a big old salad by myself. It was a big old salad and I had clean your plate syndrome because I just felt like I needed to clean my plate. And of course I'm not tight enough to PB. I'm not, I guess I'm not that tight to get stuck on salad either. But it made me feel ridiculous. Like, oh, it was a big salad. I went to Mission Burrito. It's like a Chipotle, I guess. I don't know if you have them in your area, Chipotle or Mission Burrito, but it was like a burrito bowl. Um, and I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? And I felt like I was going to gain like a million pounds. And, you know, I, I guess I forgot that it was, um, it was salad and not like a big old plate of fried chicken or something. Um, but yeah, so back to feeling tight. Um, oh man, traffic. Houston traffic is horrible, especially around the gallery area. Um, anyway, um, so I was tight and I was like, do I need a fill? Do I not need a fill? 
foot home and um, sometimes I'm just like ravaged like I just want to eat everything in sight and you know I'm trying to you know be a straight arrow and not um, you know deviate from my meal plan for the day and it's hard man especially when you're freaking hungry as hell um, and so this week was pretty hard that was something I had to like overcome I guess um, so it was weird I was only tight whenever I was oh, whatever anyway so this week continued going to the gym um, I'm having a lot of trouble with week three of the Catch 5K. Um, it probably has to do with my running speed being so high. Um, so I can run probably the three, the first three intervals, and then I'm like pfft, tired because um, I went to the gym on. I go to the gym with my boyfriend on the weekends, and then I take my little brother on the weekdays. And I was, I went this weekend with my boyfriend, and he is one of those people that likes to push you. Oh, go up to this. Oh, go up to that. You, you can do that. You can not, you're not gonna die when you're obviously about to faint and fall off of the treadmill. Um, so I did run at. 8.0 for like two intervals and then I almost died and um, I was like I'm not that fit yet I'm not yet yet is the key word um, and um, so I decided that my running speed was now going to be 7.0 and I do pretty good when I'm really motivated I guess when I'm like I don't know, I have like these thoughts like, Cindy, you're powerful, Cindy, you're gonna, you're gonna go through this, this burn is, is gonna be great, it, it's okay, you can do it. But then there's these like yesterday where I didn't even want to run, and I felt like crap, I, I don't know, I was exhausted, and, um, I don't know, I just, I just didn't want to do it. And I still went to the gym. I was like so close to being like, let me not go to the gym. But I went to the gym and I felt good about going to the gym even though I didn't run. I did everything else. I just walked. I, at least I did something right. At least I got my ass moving. Um, and so I yesterday I met the 15 days of going to the gym goal. Um, that was my goal for January. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go today. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go the next day. Well, yeah, I'm not going to go on Friday because I don't go on Fridays because um, I like to do stuff on Friday. Um, I'm proud of myself for um, going to the gym 15 times. I, I honestly didn't think I was going to do it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think I was going to do it. So I had a gold prize for that, which was makeup brushes that I, I've been wanting to buy, but I just haven't because I'm like, oh, should I really buy those? Uh, I don't know. I have a million and one brushes. Should I? But I did because that was what I had selected. Um, I do want to make it all the way up to 20 days at the gym because... I don't know. I just want to hit that 22 now that I've met 15. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really hoping that I meet it. Um, if I take, I think I will meet it if I just take one rest day. Um, had a great week. I'm hoping that I make it to Wonderland by the end of friggin' February. Please, please help, help buddy, work with me here. I'm doing the best that I can. Um, okay, so I'm stuck in traffic, which is wonderful. And my appointment is in like, I'll make it, I think, 20 minutes, yeah. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye.